It's good. And all the time. Indeed, God is good. This far he has brought us. So today is 1st of January 2024. It is a special day for each one of us. It is a day of joy. A day to give thanks to God for all the blessings he bestowed on us in the year 2023. And as we begin this new year, we ask him to bless us and to protect us. So as we enter the new year 2024, we look back at the past year 2023 and we humbly acknowledge God's abundant graces bestowed on us despite our unworthiness. And so we come together to thank and to praise him for his loving providence and protection. Yet looking back, we also admit that we had our failures, we had our shortcomings, we have not fulfilled our resolutions, and so we bow our heads in humble soul, asking God to have mercy on us and to forgive us. And so this new year, once again, we make some resolutions and this is what we do at the beginning of every year. But honestly, have we really fulfilled all those New Year's resolutions in the past? There are two main reasons why we have failed to accomplish most of our resolutions. First, it is because most of them are not resolutions, but they are actually mere wishes. There is a vast difference between a wish and a resolution. A wish is a desire to attain a particular goal, while a resolution specifically identifies the concrete steps to be taken to reach that goal. A wish says, I want to pass the exams. A resolution will say, I will commit some hours of study every day and have time for prayer each day. And I wish will say, I want to be a better Christian this new year 2024. But a resolution says, I will faithfully pray daily. I will attend Mass. I will go to confession. And I will extend my help those who come to me for help and volunteer in the liturgical ministry of the parish. When there is no concrete cause of action, it is just a wish and not a resolution and nothing will come out of it. So in our New Year's resolutions, we must be ready to take action and be willing to sacrifice. Secondly, we have not been able to accomplish our resolutions because perhaps we did not pray enough and instead relied solely on our own human powers. And as the psalmist puts it, Psalm 27, 127, unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. Who build? Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain does the God keep watch. Ultimately, it is God alone who can bring to fruition all our efforts and endeavors. As we always say, man proposes, God disposes. It is important, therefore, that our resolutions are fully grounded on faith in God. Then he will help us to fulfill them according to his plan. Let us do our best and let us allow God to do the rest. We need to acknowledge the truth that absolute power resides in God alone. And so the most powerful man 
or the most powerful person is not the one who has lots of money or who has wealth or riches or who has weapons of mass destruction. Rather, it is the one who bends his or her knees and prays to God. So on the first day of the new year, we celebrate the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. And there are 19 Marian feast days, solemnities and memorials on the liturgical calendar, ranging from the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, on January 1st, like today. Celebrate the feast of the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. And it goes from today, it goes until December 12th, when we will celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. So there are many devotions to our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and October is the month of our Mother, the month of the Holy Rosary the month of the Blessed Virgin Mary, of which Mary is Queen. And then, of course, the Church has dedicated every Saturday to our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. So today, we celebrate the oldest of all Marian feasts in our liturgy. Today's Feast of Mary, the Mother of God. It's a very appropriate way to begin a new year, 2024. And this celebration reminds us that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, is also our Heavenly Mother. Hence our ideal motto for this new year, 2024, should be to Jesus through Mary. Or ad Jesum per Mariam, Mariam in, in Latin. And we also remember the words of St. Alphonsus de Luguari, who said that whoever desires the fruit must go to the tree and whoever desires the whoever desires Jesus must go to the Blessed Virgin Mary and whoever finds the Blessed Virgin Mary will most certainly find Jesus so this is an occasion for us to renew our devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary is also our mother is the mother of the church because she is our spiritual mother and we are the church. The Blessed Virgin Mary never failed in her duties towards Jesus before and after the birth of Jesus. She proved to be available, dependable, reliable, and trustworthy. She not only brought forth Jesus to the world, she accompanied him like a disciple wherever he went from the manger to the foot of the cross and from Pentecost to Ascension. She never missed in any key events of Jesus' life and ministry. She was not only a mother, a caregiver, but also a disciple and a companion to Jesus. So it is therefore penitent pertinent today as we celebrate Mary, the mother of God, and ask her to take us also as her sons and daughters, since she was able to care for our God made man. She will take good care of us. In this new year, let us take more seriously our devotion to God through her mother, through the mother which is our, our mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. There is never any prayers which we make through her. That goes unattended. Let us pray that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Lord may bless us and keep us. This new year, let us be pure and holy like our Heavenly Mother. All our mothers, or all mothers, want their children to inherit or acquire their good qualities. Let us practice our virtues of faith, obedience, purity, and humble service 
In this way, we will become the saintly sons and the daughters of our Heavenly Mother, the Holy Mother of God. So the Church observes this day also as the World Day of Peace. And the Church invites us to pray specifically for peace in the world. Pray for peace in our hearts. Pray for peace in our families, in our homes, in our neighborhoods, in our country, and in the world. So as at the start of this year, let us earnestly invoke God's blessings on us, on our family members, on our loved ones, our relatives, our friends, And this blessing, we have had it in the first reading. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you and give you peace. And so we pray, God our Father, you ask is the beauty of creation and the good things you have given us. Help us to begin this New Year 2024 joyfully in your name and to spend it in loving service of you and our neighbors. And we wish you a happy and a blessed New Year. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.